uh, Tom, Robin, thank you so much for taking the time. Congratulations on this movie. It is truly my favorite film of the year. So congratulations to the two of you. Oh, thank right. you. Well, uh, thank you. Well, let's let's start here, though, because obviously you have worked together, and obviously you've worked together with uh, Robert Zemeckis on a film before. Does that familiarity that you have develop some sort of shorthand on set that truly makes the process collaborative? Yeah, this is your third time, right? Or fourth? Fourth, I think. Well, oh. You did, what, six? I have not. I've you lost. have lost count. I've, uh, I've, I've, I've <laughs> lost a few. Count. Not a few. We just try to like get together every seven years and say, what do you got? Yeah. What do you got? But it, it, it is. I mean, I, I, oh. people say, what do you think? I think... The first conversation you have with Bob is a shorthand conversation. Absolutely. 30 years ago or yeah, what it is. Yeah, it hasn't changed no. at all. No. And it is, even though we haven't hung out with each other personally for these years in between each film, it literally feels like going home for the holidays. We're like, oh, there's that family. It's so easy. Yes, we speak in code. We get, we were making the same movie. Let's just talk about that oh, for yeah, a second. There you go. That's a huge difference is when you have four different visions and nobody's in sync, we all said, we're making the same movie. We, we have, here's one of the things that we would say, we'd get together and try to, all right, a, approach of something like that, and we'd all get so close that one of us could say, red dot! <laughs> and red dot means we all understand what yep, we're doing, we got what it. we're doing in this scene. All right, and that goes back to, you know, the one of the first, when Bob would, well, we all gotta understand we're making the same, we gotta know what that red <laughs> dot is. Every scene has a red dot. We gotta know what that, so now we could just say, hey, Bob, red dot, red right? dot. yeah, red dot. Yep, red we dot. got it, we copy got that. It. Red dot. <laughs> you know, look, obviously also, the way that this movie is shot is so unique. From the singular frame and from kind of the uh, through the window perspective, if you will, what are the challenges though and conveniences as an actor that you have knowing what the frame is essentially for the entirety of the movie? Wow. What? Well, one is we don't. We would go as many takes as possible, uh, 17, 36, 42. But what's fabulous about that is you start at the beginning, and you go all the way to the end, and then you weigh how that is, and then you get to just go back and do it again. And once you've got it, that's it. You don't yeah. have to go back and and Wait, do you no coverage. It's not like oh, we'll come back after lunch and get the mediums and the extreme close up. You have to nail it in one take. So we would find, oh, was that take too long? Got to pick up the pace. Where do we pick it up? Should we move closer to the lens? Mm -hmm. Bring ourselves into our own close up to make more impact of this beat where there are no words of dialogue. So it was, it was interesting to work that way. It and we're, we were like, we're so spoiled, we don't want to so go back spoiled. to the conventional so, way of shooting. It, 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 it was liberating because in a weird way, <clears throat> we made the movie in real time, if that makes sense, right? We made the movie in 90 second increments or two minute, increment, uh, two minute increments. We didn't like go back and have to start playing around with how long the scene really is. It lasted as long as we did it. Um, and sometimes, you know, 47 takes is a long time, you know, in, in order to get to where he went, or he went to, but that, it was a luxury. I'm, I'm sure it was, and it, again, like you said, the way that it's just out, outlined in the film and from beginning to end, it's so such a beautiful movie. This movie was also very special to me because my grandparents' home was kind of the center of our family for so many decades, so much so that when we had to sell it eventually and, and the home was torn down, I had to steal the numbers on the house numbers that oh. I've actually set right here next to me uh, for forever. These numbers have been sitting next to me as a reminder of that. Do you all have any physical keepsakes that you've gotten from a childhood home or a special place that encapsulates the memories in a similar way? Uh, scars, I have some scars <laughs> that might, uh, might come. No, I moved around, man, man. If I don't, I don't. You had yeah, I got some scars too. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. That, oh, yeah. that and telephone numbers in my right? head. Right? 5222234, that was- No way, uh, yeah, was that yeah, your yeah, landline? Yeah, yeah. That, that was the landline at the house. Thank you so much for taking the time. Well, to hey, talk but what's, to me. The, what's the house number? What was the house number that you lived in? Oh, he's going to show us. 12 12. Oh, 12 12. 12 12. That's a great number. It's a good one. 12 yeah. 12, Bonnie Bray. But again, uh, I know I'm out of time. Tom, Robin, thank you so much for taking the time and congratulations on the best movie of the year. Uh, oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. 12 12. Have a good one. See?